Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0 Realism mod for Kerbal Space Program Today we are at the launch pad Valentina Kerman at the helm in what we are hoping to be our first successful orbital launch Key word there is successful uh, Last time we upgraded our KR-1A rocket with uh, a new service module, new command pod a um, bunch of other neat stuff and today after having seen it prove itself in simulations, we are just gonna go for it. So, here's our ignition. We'll let these actually throttle up to full. That looks good. And launch. Real mean with that launch pad. <laughs> Yet again, I'm certain that everyone has seen this rocket go up uh, more than a few times, so just like previously, I am just going to fast forward through it and I will see you guys uh, in orbit. Oh no! Abort. Ah, uh, that went horribly. I don't know what happened. I, I guess maybe I just started the gravity turn a little too soon. But our whole rocket has just disintegrated underneath us. Uh, Val has been propelled to safety by our launch escape tower. Which we can now just go ahead and get rid of. Oh boy. That did not go very well. Whoops! That is a whole lot of very scattered debris there. Our chute is showing armed. All of this stuff is just things that are out there. I guess our aerodynamic stresses were entirely too much and we just started deviating from uh, prograde there and it was just it was too much but this plummeting down nose first is probably not the greatest thing I would like to fall backwards and uh, I should probably set a hotkey for the abort sequence because going all the way up, the rocket was already done and gone and exploded by the time we got up there. Um, <clears throat> things could have gone a whole lot worse there. Uh, I promise I did not do that intentionally. Uh, maybe we can turn on descent mode. Alright, well there's our chute deployment. They actually held out this time. We can go ahead and turn RCS and stability control off. There's our secondary chute. That's just weird, but okay. <laughs> and things disappearing from the staging list as they splash down into the water. Flying over Kerbin Shores. Do we have that one? We do not. Radio that in, Val. Let's not make this completely worthless. Actually, we can go ahead and boot those antennas. They'll give us a much faster transfer rate on that little bit of science. Oh man, debris everywhere. Yeah. There's our full chute deployment. That just looks weird with that massive secondary chute just angling way off to the side because these three are over here you know 
hey, we're coming down nice and slow. So, and there's that. I'm not going to make you sit through what is inevitably going to turn out to be 10 solid minutes of falling. Because that's 2.2 meters per second is mighty, mighty slow. Yeah, even here in four times time acceleration, our rate of descent is abysmally low. So, wow. Um, that was fun. All of these launches, and I really never thought I would actually have to use that launch escape system. But, you know, here we are. Poor Val. <laughs> didn't want to get in the ship that didn't work, so she didn't die. Now she gets in one that we've proven to work, and it doesn't work. Ah, oh, trials and tribulations. All right, did I turn on descent mode? Yes, I did. Which would explain why we're offset just a little bit there. All right, well, we'll have somebody come out in a boat, come pick you up here in a little bit, Val. It really shouldn't take that long. We're, you know, 17 kilometers downrange. <laughs> And there's a splashdown. Yeah, we can radio it in, but it's not going to get us any science. Whichever. Val, if you want to... Oh, man. She's underwater. EVA report. Keep that. Oh, no, she fell. Swim for it, Val. Huh. I'm very scared she's going to drown, so we're just going to go ahead and recover her. We'll come back for the pod. It'll be there waiting for us, I promise. Swimming in this game has not come intuitively to me. Eek. Well... That was fun. I guess maybe I won't be fast-forwarding through a, uh, a launch this episode. But if you've watched this, you already know that. No XP game for Val, because she's already done most of the cool things that she did there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, actually, we can clean up a lot of this stuff. Cover that. 0.8 science, not bad. And we'll get 5,000 of our funds back, which is also good. We have a whole lot of crap just floating around out here that we can probably go ahead and get rid of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a transfer stage. Terminate. We can leave that in orbit. It's still got comms. Ranger Mark II's orbiting the sun. Well past its encounter. This Mark II is... is supposed to adjust to hit Venus. That's just not going to happen. Ranger Mark I probe. I'm willing to bet we can get rid of that too. Oh, that might... No, it's totally not going to get rid of itself. Let's just clean that up. All right, I'm going to do the rest of this cleaning off camera. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Sorry this one was so short. I promise we'll get it right next time. Or Val will probably kill me. All right, until then, see you later.